Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to K Wings Let's Plays and more Princess Peach Showtime. This is probably the last of the post game episodes because we're going to take care of the ninjas. So we're starting a little later because today was Easter, so we had Easter dinner. And I have a medical condition that makes it take a long time to eat. So basically, I have to eat like a uh, old man because I have issues with my esophagus due to a failed endoscopy, uh, which. <clears throat> yes, so I eat like a snail. Um, so I've been dealing with this for 10 years now, but um, fun. <laughs> anyway, it's time for more Princess Peach, but I enjoyed my dinner, even though I ate like a snail. Uh, you guys saw the spread that we had. It was very good. Um, if it was Thanksgiving food, I'd want to go to sleep now because all that tryptophan would make me tired. But of course, we had ham and stuff like that. So, um, But I believe we're starting with the mermaid. And then uh, we're going into the basement. So. You got 100% on this game? Wow, that's impressive. Peach, good. Good job. Uh, I can't seem to get 100% on the mermaid level or the baking levels. Uh, those are those seem to be my, uh, my problem. In fact, I don't even want to start with the mermaid right now, so we're going to do the dark sword fighter first. And we'll work our way back up to the fifth floor singing mermaid stuff. I, I don't like the singing mermaid, and I don't like the baking levels. Uh, let's see. So this is the dark sword fighter. <clears throat> Yeah, today was Easter. Easter was March 31st this year. I know, it's weird. <clears throat> I'm always used to um, Easter being in April, so it's, it's a little different. Hmm. The only big holiday in March is supposed to be St. Paddy's Day. So, it's kind of weird to have St. Paddy's Day and Easter on the same month. I'm just saying. It's weird. <clears throat> yep, tomorrow's April Fool's. I don't know if I'm participating in April Fool's this year. I don't really have anything. I don't prank Amber very much, so, if at all. Yeah, Amber doesn't take jokes very well, so I don't want to be on the receiving end of a spear or something like that. Maybe pretty girls get away with murder in the real world, but Ace Attorney they don't. But I don't have somebody like Ace Attorney to defend defend my murder, so <laughs> as dark as that sounds. Alright, so we found the only ninja in this area. Since he's right at the beginning of the level, I want to see something. I want to see if we if we bow out, does it count as we got the ninja? This would this would be the perfect time to see if that actually works. Does it save it? Because this is literally the beginning of the level, so now we can put this rumor to bed. Can you exit the level after collecting the ninja, or do you have to finish the level completely? So we're gonna put that. This is how you do science. This is how you put the uh, theory to the test. Will the ninja be saved? Or do you have to finish the entire level? This is my theory. I say that you have to finish the level. Let's see if the game agrees with me. Survey says you have to finish the level. So everyone's saying uh, that you can exit out of the game after you, you get the ninja. No, you can't because it doesn't save it. So back into the world we go. There you go. So... It is a sound and logical as well as scientific conclusion that you have to finish the level in order to acquire the ninja. It's been proven with science. It's been proven with science. It is now scientific proof. My hypothesis is sound. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm I'm polishing off a cheesecake here. Mm. 
Uh. Oh, so I introduced Amber to the, um, the anime I was talking about yesterday. This morning, um, or after church, when we were eating our breakfast, sort of, slash brunch, I showed Amber the, uh, Mr. Villain's Day Off, and, um, she really liked the show. She was laughing quite a bit, because the premise is funny. It's about this guy who's a bad guy. And the only time that you see him, he talks about all these maniacal evil things that he does, because he's basically like a Lord Zed-like villain in a Power Rangers universe. But when it's his day off, he's just like an average human. He does average human things. He cleans his house. He goes out shopping. When he's home from work, he stops by the Quickie Mart. Um, things like that. And he loves pandas, yeah. He thinks pandas are cute. So I showed her, um, one episode. I think we watched two. Watched two episodes. And she liked it, and she also noticed that the music is very peaceful. It's, like, not really intense music for a show about, a, essentially, a Lord Zed villain. I highly recommend it, though. Um, it's on Crunchyroll. It's kind of a slice-of-life show, so if you're expecting, like, Lord Zed and the Power Rangers to throw down, they do for, like... 30 seconds in a flashback and then every episode starts with him saying I am so and so the person who's here to conquer the earth but today it's my day off <laughs> and then it shows you what he does on his day off so it's like he has like this really dark rough sounding voice and then when it's his day off he's like but today is my day off it's really funny And just the whole premise, I think, made you laugh, is you see this guy who looks like he's super evil, but he does things like struggle, like putting a um, rice bun or meat bun in the oven and having it get deflated and all kinds of stuff. Episode I watched is uh, the one Amber hasn't seen. He's sitting on a park bench with a cat, and the Pink Ranger is behind him on patrol, and he thinks the cats are sentient. So he starts to speak to the cat by meowing to it. And the cat looks at him like he's strange, but then the cat meows back. And he can't understand what the cat is saying, but he's sitting there going, Meow. Meow, meow. And the rangers are looking at him like, This is the guy that we fight every day? And they're face palming behind the tree. Because on his day off, they won't fight him because they have a truce. It doesn't make any sense, but it's really funny. I, I highly recommend the show. I really, really do. It was a winter anime that I completely um, glossed over because I didn't like... Like I said, sometimes with anime, I don't give it a shot if the... Um, I guess you would call it the thumbnail or the banner of the show looks like something that I'm not interested in. And I, I, I uh, read the premise of the show... And then I was like, oh, okay. And then I gave it a shot. But when I first saw the show, when it was previewed or whatever at the start of the Christmas season or winter season, I was like, it doesn't interest me because the art of the show doesn't look very interesting. You wouldn't, you wouldn't expect it to be that good of a show. So, I mean, the marketing team obviously didn't do a very good job, like, uh, on Crunchyroll, like, marketing that product because I passed up on it because I, I didn't think it was anything of interest. And there's been several shows where that's happened and then it turns out that was a show that actually I would have really enjoyed and I didn't see it for years later. So I get, it all depends on, like, the presentation of when you're advertising the show. Yeah, people are asking about the mashed potatoes you made. You made crispy mashed potatoes, which I've never had before. I didn't mean to. I know. It's still funny, though. Oh! I stabbed myself with a fork. I'm not blaming you for it.
Um, yeah, the gravy can that I used to open it, or the gravy glass is like right there up next to the stove. Oh. Yep, ham soup sounds like a thing this week, honey. Well, you have to remember, guys, my setup for streams is, like, my microphone. I didn't want the, the fork to hit the microwave. Uh, microphone, dang it. And um, I, I'm still eating my cheesecake dessert, uh, frozen cheesecake, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's good. Um, And I, I missed. I missed the, the spot where you know, the food would go in, and I just briefly stabbed myself, like, in my mouth, but not where I could really get the food in. So it kind of hit my teeth, and it hit my, hit my gum. It was just a quick little poke, though, so I don't think I drew blood or anything, but it was pretty clumsy on my part. Oh, all that red stuff on the floor, what is that? Um, no, I don't want to do the baking. I will do the ice skating. I will do the ice skating next. Because I'm, deep down, I am a pretty, pretty princess. And it's okay for me to say that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, dark ice. Yeah, because, I mean, my pers my, my perspective is off. Um, anyway. I saw we had a new member. Uh, I think they joined on the Power Rangers stream. Why do I have two of these streams open? Yes, we have a new member. Uh, Champion Paul became a veteran. So I don't know where you are, Paul. But um, thank you very much for being... I think that's one... That's uh, I don't remember what veteran is. I think that's one step below legendary. I know it's a Wolverine emote. Give me a sec. Uh, veteran, there it is. Japanese Wolverine Veteran Upgrade. Thank you very much to Champion Paul. Paul the Champion. That is the Wolverine from Japan. Shock! Da -da 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 -da. Shock! Never mind. It's a it's a thing. Japan had a much cooler X-Men intro than we did. Japan Japan was like, your intro is good, ours is better. And it's like when you see the animation for the um they made new new openings for the X-Men seasons in Japan when they uh imported it from America. And I was just thinking, why didn't they just redo the whole show with that art style? That would have been sick. Shock! All right, so uh, we need to find the hidden ninja. Oh my gosh, I think he's here. That is that is not the hidden ninja. Do 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 do. So there was a big argument on Twitter. Uh, this YouTuber started saying that he was arguing with all of Twitter, all video game Twitter over the fact that he honestly believes that The Legend of Zelda is an RPG. And it's like, it's an action-adventure game, but, like, he literally was, like, challenging the entire internet to prove him wrong that it wasn't an RPG. It was just the craziest thing I've ever seen. And he was using a quote that Miyamoto had, like, back in the 90s um, to prove that it was a action RPG, but for the most part, Legend of Zelda is an action game. It's not really an RPG. He was arguing, well, you get hearts and, you know, you get powers that make you stronger. It's like, but do you really, though? Because even with the additional hearts, all it does is just, like, delays death a little bit. You don't really do anything to negate damage, as well as Link's stats don't change. In every RPG, regardless of what it is, a character has growth with their stats. So, Final Fantasy that we're playing right now, which is not really a turn-based RPG anymore, like it was, it still has stat growth in a level-up system. 
Legend of Zelda does not have a level up system. Like, Link is, like... You could go through the entire game with three hearts. You would still take damage as quickly with whatever hearts you have. So... Ah! Da 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 I failed again. Ba -da -da. Oh, there it is. Oh wait, I already did all this. Whee! I just like to figure skate. I like to skate. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, it was it was interesting to see that this dude was just like straight up arguing with like all these people. Um, but I would actually tell him that he said, well, if uh he says, that would make Symphony of the Night an RPG. It's like, well, yes, yeah, Symphony of the Night is an RPG, even though it's a Metroidvania game, because the character um, Alucard does change his stats over the course of the game. There is a level-up system. So, yes, it would be an RPG. It would be a different type of RPG, but it does have the level grind system. Who here has gone ice skating? Well, I played hockey, so of course I know how to ice skate. But with the use of my leg, I can't really ice skate anymore. In fact, when Amber wanted to take me ice skating in Philadelphia, I just saw that as being like a huge problem. I don't even know what would have happened. I did love ice skating, honey, before I started having that neuropathy issue. I. I don't like falling on my face on the ice. I can watch other people skate and remember what it's like. I suppose. I have no idea where this pesky ninja is. Where is the pesky ninja? Well done. I've been looking everywhere for the pesky ninja. I don't see him anywhere. Okay, honey. Then we'll replace them little by little. It'll give me something to look forward to. Well, that's what cooking will do to you. We must perform a silhouette together. No, just do the Princess Peach. I'll do Power Rangers by myself. And I think I have an ultimate after that. Shock! Shock! Where is the ninja hiding? I don't see him anywhere. Thought the ninja would be at the beginning of the level, but I don't see him nowhere. This is quite perplexing. Unless I already got him and I didn't even realize it. Nope. No ninja yet. Strange. There's something rotten in Denmark. Ow. Ah, we're gonna get squashed. No! Rude! Uh. Skate for your life! Uh, speaking of skating for your life, guys, smash that like button. We're almost 18 minutes into the stream, I think. Likes and shares are needed for pretty, pretty Princess Peach and her skating wonders. Aha! Oh dear. I've made a terrible mistake! Ah! Dead. Squash. Whoopsies! I'm going to need to get another piece of that delicious cheesecake. I likes it. 
I don't normally like cheesecake, but I like that because it's kind of frozen-ish. I don't. I didn't want it to thaw. I like it the way that is. I would eat stuff like that. Woohoo! That is the best kind of cheesecake. Where is this blasted ninja? You may come out now, furballs. Yeah. Meow. Where art thou, ninja? Oops. Hi. Only you're allowed to call me that. Soar! There's no ninja. I missed the ninja. I didn't see him at all. Oh my gosh. I knew you couldn't do this without me. Of course I can't. I just thought I would attempt it. Thank you so much. Peachy's got it. No ninja. Ah! No, well, I better put my money where my mouth is. I know I missed the ninja. I don't know where he is. To get the ninja. Peachy don't got it. Yes, I, I can see that. I have eyes. Though I don't see well. I... Whoops. Here we go. Let's play. Do, 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 do. Brum. Hmm. Hmm. Like chocolate pie, it's my favorite holiday dessert. I've never had chocolate Says pie, LZ, yes. but I would like to try it now. I've never had it. We had berry cheesecake today, and it was amazing. Yes, it was. It was frozen berry cheesecake. All right, so where's this pesky ninja at, guys? You saw him because I don't see him. Like, where, where art thou, ninja? Oh, Luke, what? you know how much that frozen cheesecake was? Nope. It was like five bucks. Wow. It was worth every penny. I know. And it was huge. It's pretty big cheesecake. It's like that of a pie. I've never seen a cheesecake that big. It's actually less money than if I would get a bakery and like very small like pumpkin pie. It's like I got a huge cheesecake and it was delicious. It was very reasonably priced. You guys saw the ninja? Where is he? Even I didn't see him. Ow! Rude. You chose poorly. Ouch! I love how they got her skating backwards, like she's getting ready to do a jump. That to me is really cool. Like, the attention to detail that they have with this is actually pretty well done. Because you see most skaters, when they're getting ready to do like a really big jump, they um, skate backwards for whatever reason. I think they skate backwards so they can see. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. It was actually a big deal to watch figure skating in the 90s. It was like everybody watched it. And the guys would do cool stuff like backflips on the ice. Scott Hamilton especially would do backflips. I do not see the ninja. I do not see the ninja either. That's why I'm looking... I'm looking thoroughly for said ninja, but I do not see him. Whoa. When you go up to bed, honey, make sure you shut the window in the office. Because the wind could knock over stuff. Guys, don't fight. 
That was just something everybody did in the 90s. You watched, when figure skating was on TV, you would watch, like, it was like the Campbell Soup skating thing. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people in the 90s were obsessed with a skater called Michelle Kwan. Yep. It was just like, I don't know. It was just like, like I said, there's always a time and a place where certain things are a big fad that everybody does. And watching figure skating was a big thing in the mid-90s to the early 2000s. It just was. Like, I I can't even think of any more where television companies really cover skating events. But networks used to compete for stuff like that. I think most of the skating things took place on TBS or TNT. Back in the 90s. Whoop. Toss you down. Boom, boom. Not seeing the ninja here either, guys and gals. I'm looking for him, but I don't see the ninja. A group text? Was it my family? Oh. Yes. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I would agree with that, uh, Flaming. The, um, ice skating in Mario Galaxy is a lot cooler. Well, this isn't bad. I'm surprised we never got a Mario Galaxy 3. Like, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 did so well. I was thinking that we would actually get, uh, you know, a third installment, but it never happened. Oh no, did I screw up? Was the ninja there? Oops. Did I miss the ninja? You watch skating events still, Silver Sonic? I haven't had cable in 20 years, so... Or wait, no, it hasn't been 20 years. I haven't had cable for... 16 years. Amber, Amber helped me cut the cord. I didn't want to support Hollywood anymore. Plus, I, never, I was getting distracted from it's, it's because of Amber that I got, like, so into streaming services, though. Like, yeah, you got into anime because of me, basically. Well, I didn't have anything else to watch. I was not watching anime under legal means. When... When, when it... Aha! I found the ninja! I found him! Well, I mean, stream... The sites... I know what you mean. It's okay. We don't need to go into it. Right. It, there wasn't paid-for sites for anime yet until, like, 2009. So, you would have to watch them on sites that wasn't technically legal. In fact, Crunchyroll's history... It's Easter Sunday. Why are we... Ah, what? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Crunchyroll, when it first started, was not a legal company. Like, it was a company that was streaming yeah. anime, but they didn't have the license to do so until 2009. It's true. It was a new new type of um, experimental streaming software stuff. Which one are we trying to find? I already found the ninja. The ninja's in this last section that you have to, like, blink and you'll miss him. <laughs> I can't so stand it. I still can't believe Crunchyroll's been around since 2009, and they've had three different companies own them <laughs> since 2009. Uh, da, da, da. Elsa Peach. Ukies. Uh, where are we going now? I'll tell you later. Yes. The Ninja World. Why not? Dark Ninja. Well, you just have certain family that it's like, if I respond right away, then they start asking personal questions. Mm. So the best thing to do is respond two days after the holiday. Yeah. Then they can't really ask you personal questions like, oh, did you call blah, blah, blah or something? Because it's like, well, the holiday is like completely over at this point. 
I don't have any problem with calling people. I just don't want to be told to call people because mm. nobody, you know, I don't want people to tell me what to do. Um, we did Star Wars Survivor last year. Just uh, hit up the playlist or type K-Wings Let's Play Star Wars Survivor Flaming. You'll find it. Um, we covered pretty much all the major releases last year, I think. There was only, like, I think there was, like, six M-rated games that we didn't do. Although, out of the six M-rated games that came out that were major, I really wish we skipped on Final Fantasy XVI because I almost opened Pandora's box on this channel. I had no idea it was going to be that mature. Yeah, we didn't know there was going to be nudity, and... F-bombs every single second. Yeah. Like, if it was, like, once in a while, but it was just over and over and over and over again, it was almost like they were just throwing it in there just to throw it in there, like, all the time. Well, I thought because it was a medieval fantasy game, we'd have people calling each other peasant and knave and, like, you know, right. old, yeah, old world I swearing. I didn't think they would be adding that word. Yeah. That was a shock. I mean, I enjoyed the story, but, like, I was really put off by, like, all the... all that stuff. Yeah, and we actually lost a lot of subscribers. We that. did! We lost, like, we 250 lost active Some of subs. haven't even come back Nope. Yet because they literally subscribed for wholesome content. So. We made... we made a lot of the... We made people leave. Made a lot of religious people mad at us. Uh... Well, I mean, I... I am subscribed. Oh! I was mad. I know. Well, you were the one who approved it, though. I didn't know it was going to be like that. I know. I know. Okay, we can't... Oh, no! Wait! I think I messed up. Let me go back down! Oops. Uh... Murder! I am in your debt, but you missed the ninja. Impressive technique. We better get out of here. No, 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 no! Let me explore! Let me explore! No, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. I missed him, didn't I? Guys, did I miss the ninja? If you can tell me now, I can restart without it being a problem. Start over and miss the ninja talk on it. Ah, restart the level. Okay, restart the level. We missed the ninja. I am ninja, she is ninja, he is ninja too. Uh. I'm just responding to everyone individually because I don't like to respond in the group chat. I, I'm very paranoid about a lot of things. I will say this, Pennsylvania sweet tea is too sweet. That's not even sweet tea. No. That's just regular... That's their green tea. I know, that's their green tea. That's way too sweet. I was surprised because our friends here in Pennsylvania told us that in Japan... They serve green tea with no sweetener whatsoever. It's just the tea bag and water. Alright, so you guys said I missed the ninja. Where is he? Because I, for the life of me, I don't see any, um... I, I, I don't see it. Like, I'm looking and I don't see the ninja. Like, uh... You would think I would see something, but I don't see anything. Like, I'm looking here thoroughly. Um, unless it's in that next section, like, uh, past here. Because there's there's no white outline. There's nothing that looks like a square. Not that I can see. Oops. So it must be down in this area, then. And this is a thing. Let me kill him. And we kill this guy over here. Whoops. Unless it's over that way. Dead. You have died. Man, our neighbors are loud tonight. You shut the window upstairs? I need to find my stamps. Stamps? I bought nice flower stamps. 
And I was gonna send the Easter cards out and I couldn't find them. I was right there about to send it out. And the stupid thing was closed. I don't see. I mean, you guys said I missed the ninja, but I don't see it. I'm in the dark ninja level, Ams. I'm looking, I'm looking. Hey guys, we're past the 30 minute mark and we're still under 100 likes. Let's get those likes up. Alright, ladies and gents, tell me where you see the ninja. Because I see not. Like, I look thoroughly too. I don't see anything. Sharon says you have not missed it. Okay. Oh, it is the end for you! Ha 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 ha! Let us head for the tower. We may find your exit there. Hua! Oh, I thought he jumped over the fence. Come! We vanished like ninja! Up, oh, Link, you can't have A and W. Go away. Back off, freak. Don't be like Zelda. Zelda, you're teaching him bad things. Link didn't used to jump up on our coffee table and sniff food. He's a very impressionable kitten. You're going to, you know, you're going to give give him bad things. Yeah. I told you, when family members pass away, some family members try to get, like, all up in... I wouldn't say people's business, but they, you know, try to remind people to do certain things. I like to be a private person. You're... Everybody's different. I won't... I'm, I'm not used to people bot... Like... I'm not used to people even asking me any personal questions whatsoever. Like... You know, like, the way I, well, the way I grew up, it's like, mm, if I felt sick or if I didn't feel well, I didn't tell anyone. I just went to my room, did my homework, went to school. I didn't tell anyone anything, ever. Like, it was, I didn't care. Like, why would I, why should I tell anyone? No one, no one can, can do anything about it anyway. I never, I'm not the kind of person that talks about my feelings at all. Like, there's no point to it. If you talk about your feelings, it doesn't. It doesn't actually help anything. It doesn't solve anything. My feelings. The problem is still there, so it really doesn't actually matter. Ha 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 I don't, it really, um... Uh-oh. I don't know, it really annoys me when people ask me, like, you know, how are you? Or, like, you know, did you remember to do this? It's like, well, why would it matter to anyone else but me? Like, what, if, what if they ask you in an Arnold voice? Like, did, how are it, you? Did you... <laughs> how are you? Greetings. How you doing? You're great. Awesome. Great. Yes. Do it in funny voices. It doesn't make it so bad. Guys! It's... Stop, stop it. fighting! It's Easter. It's a holiday. Link, stop it. Is this what you guys are doing? Fighting on, on a holiday? Is that what you guys are adding to the... It's St. Patty's Easter month. Luke, we need to... What? We should give them... I'll give them some food. You think they're fighting because they're... Oh my gosh! Yeah, they're hungry. Whoa. So that's why they fight, because they want food. But they already have crunchies. Yeah, they, they don't want crunchies. Do, 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 do. Wait. Uh... Ha 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 ha! I can jump over his lantern! Woohoo! That makes things... Uh, you don't actually have to do it the way the game wants. There you go. Makes it more fun. I don't even go in the water. Oops. Ah, I got caught. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna do it without going in the water. Just watch. Meow. Well, it's a good thing my mm -hmm. uncle's looking out for my dad. That's nice of him. It is. So look at that. I didn't even go in the water. I could go in the water, though. 
because there's that guy. Hmm? I know, honey. I'm gonna go feed the monsters. Alright guys, you're almost at 100 likes, keep going. Well, honey, it, it had, it had, um... Well, you put brown sugar and you also had all those pineapples on it. Pineapples has a sweetness to it. So it's not like that sugar that's the, that's the... Well, whatever it is from the pineapple, that's the sweet stuff from the pineapple mixed in with the brown sugar and whatever else you put on it. It's natural sugar, but then brown fruit sugar. Juice. Fruit juice, yeah. Or, well, uh, pineapple juice. Just a bit farther. Who is that? Ah, oh, muhaha, escape ends here. You are finished. The two of you will crumble to dust. Oh, well, that's not very nice. A test of resolve. Do not waver. Beep. These guys still remind me. Every time I see these little dudes, I keep thinking of those Isle Delfino people. Like, every single time. It's like, are they related to the Isle Delfino people? Because... Yeah, I've heard, I've heard a few people say that. But it reminds them of that. What is that from Mario Sunshine? Correct! Yes, Mario Sunshine. The reason why I say this is because, like, the nose... And also, like, the theme is the same. Like, Peach and Mario went on vacation and they ran into these creatures they never met before. Peach goes on vacation to see this world-renowned theater, and what do we find? Characters that have similar traits to the Isle Delfino people. I mean, the tr similar trait. The huge, gigantic nose. Huge, gigantic nose and the colorful body. Yeah. You will pay for what you've done. Oh, wow, that was fast. Go, Peach. <laughs> it reminds me of a Frasier episode for some reason. Everything reminds you of a Frasier episode. This reminds me of a Frasier episode in which Roz is going to have a baby and she has to meet the... She has not actually met the parents of the, you know, person who obviously she's having a child with. So she goes to meet them. Mm-hmm. And she's like, how? I'm sure they're just completely normal people. They come in the door and they have these, like, they obviously put prosthetic noses on them. Their noses are unbelievably tremendous. Like, mm -hmm. and every single joke in the entire episode is, says, like, like, is something like, I think it's a little on the nose. Like, every joke is about noses, like, for an entire, like, 20 minute episode. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they're like, oh, do you have pets? And they're like, and then, like, the 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 mom, like, turns her and she's like, yeah, I have, like, oh, we have two, oh, uh, yeah, we don't have any cats. We have two giant schnauzers. <laughs> 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 and then after, after they leave, Roz is crying because she's like, well, she's like, those are the parents of, like, my, you know, those are the, those are the, going to be the grandparents of my child. And she's crying because she feels that her baby's going to have a gigantic nose because she finds out that, you know, the guy she was having a baby with, you know, like the, her boyfriend at the time or whatever, he had gotten in a car, a skateboard accident. So he had, had gotten his nose redone. So his nose used to be gigantic, but because he had an accident, it looked normal, but so, like, their DNA... <laughs> so she was, like, crying because she thought, like... But I guess her, like, in the show, like, her baby didn't end up having a huge nose. I thought she had to learn a life lesson that it doesn't matter what her baby looks like. She has... It's gonna love her I baby. I think that might have been the lesson it was. I think that might have been the I lesson. I think she might have at least realized, like, well, she... Yeah, I think there was a lesson there because... Because the show Frasier is about psychology, there seems to be, like, a lesson with every episode. There is. Yeah, about life Yep, and stuff. one second. Hey, guys and gals, you're still under 100 likes. We're 40 minutes into the stream. We're actually 45 minutes into the stream. Let's get up to 100. We need your help, guys. Thank you. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're doing Freedom Planet in uh, a few. Ow! A few days. Ah! And I don't know what else we're playing. Oh, we're finishing Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy will be wrapping up in April, like the first week of April. It should be done. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Chad says life lesson, don't be too nosy. <laughs> oh, right on the nose, Chad. <laughs> yeah. But, like, they did the episode in which their prosthetic noses were so overly done that you could obviously see it was almost, like, beyond what most humans would have. Over-exaggerated. Mm-hmm. Nice! Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't help being a little nosy there. Wah, no wah. one knows, says Sharon. <laughs> yeah. No one knows if the child will have a big snot or not. <laughs> I like it how she was like really nice to them in the episode. She was like, it was so nice to meet you. And as soon as they leave, she's like, oh, she starts crying. <laughs> oh, there's the ninja. Whoops. That's a very interesting place to hide that ninja. Poof. Doop, 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 doop. All right, let's ride. So now we just have to finish the level. Like we don't actually have to get the stars or anything. Some people have a habit of being too nosy, says Timmy. Mm -hmm. I guess no one will ever know, says Later Gator. The nose nose, says OH. I don't have a big nose, I just have a small face, says Dolphin. There you go. Hopefully nobody has a nose for trouble. <laughs> yeah. That was back in the day where you could actually make jokes like that. Now I feel like that would get cancelled. No. Even though it was obviously not Oops. making fun of anyone in real life because they they actually put like literally makeup on people to make that look that exaggerated. <sighs> like anime is exaggerated. Mm -hmm. Wahoo! Yeah, I forgot that that show always had a life lesson. Oh! Bless you. Is hiccups considered a bless you moment? Uh, no, but I just say it anyway, because I, I feel like saying something. I feel awkward when someone has hiccups. Well, I feel awkward having hiccups. I don't actually like saying bless you when people sneeze, because I was learning something about it, and basically, like, um... <sighs> it had to do it's... with, like, if people sneezed, it meant the beginning of the end. Oh, there's something else to it. Was, it was. I thought it was tied to the Black Death or something. Well, it could have been that too, but there's another reason why people said bless you. Okay. Like, people used to think that if you sneezed, you might sneeze out your soul or sneeze out the Holy Ghost from you. So that's why people said bless you, so that the Holy Ghost would come back into you. That's why, like, um, like my pastor was saying he doesn't like to say bless you because he feels like you can't really sneeze out the Holy Ghost, so he said he doesn't say bless you. He says <laughs> So you can't really, you couldn't really sneeze out your soul or, or God's spirit. Now, keep in mind, guys, I already got all the um the the stars there, so well, we're gonna let Amber handle the uh, um baking level. Oh no! Or wait, actually, no, you well, can I'll do, do it. you I'll do, do the baking level. You do Sorry. the um detective level. <laughs> No, you do the baking Doesn't, level. Why are you having me do a level? I thought you're good at life. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go actually, Amber, could you go do the um oh, mermaid man. level on the fifth floor? Alright. Luca oh uh, Lucas helped me clean up in the kitchen over there. And by clean up I mean get another piece of cheesecake. That'll oh, that I thought you were gonna put stuff away. No. You're gonna get another piece of cheesecake, okay. I am. I am. Because wow. I don't I don't normally like the cheesecake, but I like this one. So 
there's that. All right. <laughs> All right, Amber, it's mermaid time. This is mermaid level two. This is the last level of the top levels. Mermaid level two. This is called Blight of the Sea. Yep, definitely, Brandon. You can't make fun of people now because people are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I agree. I mean, there are people with, uh, uh, Deanna was saying, there are people with that in real life. I mean, there's people with big noses in real life, but I... Yeah, right on but, the nose, Deanna. But, uh, yeah, but I mean, probably not as big as the noses that they had in the show um, in Frasier because it was just, it was like... Ex ah! It was like their noses were, like, tremendous compared to their face. Like, they were huge. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just means you have extra sense of smell. I have abnormal features. I have abnormally small baby hands. So, I mean, I also have, you know, freakish features as well. Help me! Somebody, anyone! And my hands are the size of a child. Like, I, I literally was working with some people in a school and a, a, a kid held up their hand to mine and I had the exact same size of hands. I literally have, people have given me child-sized gloves and they fit my hands perfectly. Uh, I also have a, I have, yeah, I also have a very small, like, basically Luke was able to get me child-sized, uh, like, hat and gloves. Um, from Japan that had Kirby on it and it fit me completely. My head is so small and my hands are abnormally small that it literally fit me fine. And it, it was for like a child size, like for eight years old. Uh, you found me! Oh wow, I found a ninja right away. I kind of forgot what I need to do. Um, where are the fish? Can't find the fish. Alright, we gotta find the ninjas. Alright guys, we're going to try to find these ninjas. We found one of them. Well, we're going to do the best we can. Well, today I uh, stood for a pretty long period of time. And, uh... And, uh, yeah. I, I accidentally... I kind of didn't remember that it took three hours to cook the ham. I was thinking it was going to cook 20 minutes because it's pre-cooked, so I didn't realize it would be three hours. I don't know why I forgot that. So, like, by 3 o'clock, I was like, awesome, we'll just put the ham in and we'll be ready by 4. And I was like, oh, no, three hours. So then that's why Luke and I had our dinner later. Also, I messed up on the mashed potatoes. I started making them... They were kind of like not warm when I was like mashing them because I was on the phone. So I, I just got, like Luke says, like I got completely, I get very distracted like if I'm on the phone. So it's just like, so then I kind of made these like kind of mashed, kind of not potatoes. They were, to look out for ninjas. I am trying to, I don't see any ninjas. Well, I died. Alright, Luke says we're looking out for ninjas. Alright. And I died again.
I love how she says, What happened? Why? No, but you can just throw that piece of cheesecake out. I wouldn't. Because you stuck it in the gravy bowl. It has gravy on it now. It's ruined. I wouldn't eat that. I don't even like gravy. Alright guys, so I guess I'll try to look at the chat a little bit. Luke is busy getting himself several pieces of cheesecake, I think. Honestly, I don't even think Luke likes cheesecake. It's kind of weird to me that he's eating it. You didn't do anything wrong, Luke. I don't see any ninjas here. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to look it up because I can't find any. Um, it's hard for me to keep moving forward and look at the chat at the same time. Oh, look at it. I missed one, says Later Gator. Okay, I missed one. All right, I missed a ninja. Darn it. Light of the sea. All right, blight of the sea. Um, Um. Did you restart? What? No, I'm just trying to figure out where it is. Blight of the Sea. Just trying to figure out where it is. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the ninja is. I was like, I guess I can just get the one at the beginning and then pause and see where it is. All right, here we go. We found the second one. All right. 
Alright, we got at least two. Um, I, we got at least two of them. Honey, I would not eat that if I were you. Oh, please, it's making me feel uncomfortable. Please don't eat that around me, it's making me feel sick. I'm gonna eat right in front of you. Luke, don't. It's making me feel sick. Gravy cheesecake! Luke, stop it. Mmm, gravy-ish. I don't understand. You don't understand where the ninja is? No, I just don't understand why... What? Nothing. Luke, so nice to me when I first met and then... All you do is like to tease me now. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a gravy piece. Oh, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Don't eat that, Lou. It's disgusting. Disgusting. <clears throat> I feel like cell phones cause more problems than they fix. Because people can always call you on cell phones. It'd be better if you didn't have one. Is, supposed, is something supposed to happen after you get all the ninjas? We don't know. So I'm supposed to get one dress. So let me explain what happened. We had we had gravy with our dinner. There was a gravy Ew. bowl we used to microwave the gravy. I opened the cheesecake. I had a piece of cheesecake on my fork. And I apparently exerted too much force when I yanked up the cheesecake because it went flying. And it fell into the gravy bowl. And now there was no gravy in the bowl, but there was gravy remnants. So there was just a little bit of gravy on the cheesecake. Not a lot. It's There's a few few pieces of gravy here and there. But, I mean, for the most part, the cheesecake is un, unscathed. Now, if it would have fallen on the stove, I would have thrown it out. But since Amber said she didn't do anything weird to the bowl, the bowl is completely fine. Okay. If it had fallen on the stove, I would have Um... I don't even know how I got a star for that. I don't even know what they were giving me a star for. I'm in grave danger. I see what you did there, Chad. I mean... Mm. It might take a couple attempts to find these ninjas, though. You found two of them, right? Yes, I did. Okay. So, I mean, there's no point in resetting the level if you already found two. I'm pretty sure I just found the third one. Where? It was over here. You got it? Pause. What do you mean? It was over here. Okay, pause. You got all the ninjas. Okay. You know what I find odd is the same people that are saying, why are you practicing to do, you know, Easter dinner for a lot of people? Are they going to be the same people that are like, oh, can't you cook Easter dinner for everyone, Amber? Haven't you had a lot of practice? It's like, I just feel like people expect you to magically do, uh, you know, holiday dinners without practicing at all. Like on Chuck, Chuck's sister practiced like four turkeys before her in-laws came over. I would think that would just be a normal thing to practice. Mm -hmm. This ocean is all ours. We practiced in culinary, we would practice. We would do like uh, several practices and then they would we would do the real thing. Mm -hmm. mm, still missing a stupid star. I think you get it from this performance. If you do it perfect. I think a mermaid in real life would sound kind of like a vampire singing. Sound creepy. <clears throat> but this is nicer. She sounds like a Disney princess like Cinderella.
Oops, I missed that last one. <laughs> wow, we should really do this again. Well, the one thing you really like is the cheesecake. I messed up on a lot of the food today. I tried. I made a good salad, though. That's for sure. I can go back and get those stars. Nope, you're gonna go do the mermaid level in the basement. Okay. Mm, thanks for the likes, everyone. Oh. See, I cannot imagine doing two services of praise team, then cooking the entire dinner. You couldn't. You would have had to cook the meal the day before. Mm, yeah, so yeah. if I might have to tell them, like, I can't. I can't do, like, singing in church and then cooking afterwards. I might have to tell them, like, can I just not do it on holidays because I don't want to. Just be honest with people, I hate holidays. Yeah, that's, that's not going to fly very well. Go down to the basement, little one. Mm, okay. I don't hate holidays anymore. I used to. Because I like spending holidays with you. As long as people don't bother me, like, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, I kind of wish all holidays wouldn't. I guess it's a, it's good for the, like, it's good for kids and stuff. I just... You're looking for the mermaid in the basement. Mm. I just wish holidays would, like, be an option. I wish it wasn't something... I just don't like being forced to do something. That's what I don't like. There it is. It bothers me when people are like, did you do this? Did you cook the ham? Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? Like, well, what if I don't feel like it? I guess it's like, ugh, holidays are just something everyone's expected to do. So there's only one um, ninja in the basement, like, per level, so. Yeah. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see what the name of this level is. Because it's called Dark Sea. Looks like the ninja's right there. Oh. Uh, like, literally right there. That's him. Wow. Well, I can still look for the first star. Yeah, no Let idea where the see. first star is. Could the sparkle be? Better. Yeah, Luke is gonna have tummy ache from the hand. Mm. Sorry. the orange clam. That's where it was. The one no. before her. Whoops. Mm, that sucks. You can always restart. Okay. Whoops. I really need socks, man. Where's your Kirby things? I'm sorry. How many pieces of cheesecake do you have? I had two. One gravy cheesecake and one regular. Why would you eat it with gravy on it? Because I didn't want to throw it out. I would have just thrown it out. Mm -mm. 
Oh, so there were no knives to cut a second piece. Okay. It didn't fall on the stove and I ate it, so it's fine. All right then. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna try this again. Yeah, everybody says don't open a big clam tip. All right, just go for the small clams. Go for the small clams. Could the spark won't be. Help, 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 help. Oh no. That must be the singer in there, Peach. Don't worry, I won't get the singer. Should I get the singer now? No! Orange clam. No! Orange clam. You want to get all the tiny clams. That one, that one, that one. I did. I tried. No, 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 no. Don't restart. As long as you don't free the mermaid, you're fine. No, no, no. no. That one. Great. It's the orange clam. That's what everyone says. Inside the big one. So don't get more one. Wait for it. Now! You waited too long. Okay, okay, never mind. It's the it's there. The star's over there. Where? The, Here? the the whatever those are. Star thingies. the first star I think. Let's see. Yes we did. The other star. Uh -huh. What about who was back then? Oh. You already got the first star. You did the other one. You found the ninja. There it is. We just missing one. The one star is from a performance. Oh. Yeah. So. I can do this part and you can do the singing part. Would you prefer that? Okay, pause. Pause. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's one other star missing. Right, it's the singing part. Pretty sure. Wow, your hands are warm. Who needs gloves? I just hold on to your little hand when it's cold. Norwegian blood I meant for living in the northern region. I have no idea, but like literally this feels like my controller was left on a hot plate. That's how my hands normally feel. That's crazy. Mm. Oh, this is the singing part. <sighs> you have to sing in order to get this next piece. 
We have to deal with the whirlpool. What should we do? Everyone, lend us your help. Aww. Yeah, they're gonna sing. Peachy's got it. We sing, the water should settle. Pep, Amber, pep. We sing, the water should settle. There you go. Let's calm the waters by singing, Peach. Okay. Let's go. All right. Peachy's got it. I don't know if you have any. First tornado dealt with. Tornado 2 coming up. Oops. Yeah, you have to do this stuff perfect in order to get the... Uh... Wow! Yep, it has to be perfect. Yeah, that's why the music games are hard. The music and baking is really hard in this game. You can't miss anything. That's why I like to go. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, all right, go grab your coffee, little one. Oh my gosh! Stop turning my controller into a hot plate. Freak! Get away from me! It's too hot! Oh my gosh! That's so weird. How am I weird? You, you can hold my hand outside because it's cold. You always said, since you always said, like, whenever you gave me a hug, you said I was like a little oven. You are a little oven. Man, he takes up that entire couch cushion. You want to show something weird? You always tell me weird things. I think I already told you this, but when I was in medical assisting, this one girl drew my blood. Mm-hmm. And she held it up to her face, and she was like, this blood is so warm. That's creepy, Amber. And she was like, if I was a vampire, I would want to drink your blood. That's creepy, Amber. And she's like, feel it. And then all the girls in my room felt my blood that was in the vial, and it was hot. Is anyone else creeped out by Someone this? Someone almost burned their hand on it. They were like, oh my gosh, your blood is hot. My God. They're like, why is your blood warm? Everyone else's blood is normal temperature. Like, I don't know. I'm creeped out. I guess some people just have a different body temperature normally. I mean, I am Norwegian. We would live in, like, the North Pole almost. I should be living in somewhere extremely cold. That's why I'm generally extremely warm. Mmm. I, I don't even really need to wear a coat when I go outside, I guess. What's the purpose since I am literally an oven? I don't even need to floss. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you took that from. Alright. It's pretty obvious where I took that from. <laughs> Meow. Kung Fu fighting. Amber, you're calling both cats like you're Snow White. She's not woodland creature. She's not feeding you. They didn't even mind you hiccuping. You are feeding them? Didn't you just feed them? Amber singing to the cats.
Oh, I guess we made that got happy. All right, so we already got the ninja. And I already got all this stuff, so. Oh, you can hear Amber in the background? Okay. Yeah, she does that from time to time. Whoops. I think she's speak, uh, singing in Italian or German now. I don't know. This happens when she feeds the cat sometimes. You good, Amber? Amber doesn't need people to hear headphones. Amber can, like, she could be an opera singer because she can project without a microphone. See? So, the story is, if guys and gals don't know, so, Amber was going to go to a school where she could have been, like, an opera singer, but she married me when she was young, so now she's going to do it when she's older. Did, did you finish feeding them? How much did you feed them? How much did you feed them? Also, Link usually runs away when you, like, go all opera. No, he doesn't. Zelda doesn't mind when, when you belt, but Link runs away. Zelda doesn't mind when you belt. Link doesn't like loud noises. You were doing that Concerto Domine or whatever it was and Link bolted. I know it's from Deflator Mouse, I know. I know you can, but, I mean, remember what time of night it is, honey. I know you know. Ow. Say yeet. 
Remember, you can pet him rough over there. Just don't put him, pet him rough over here because the dander's too much for me. He likes being petted rough like a dog, though. It's weird. Is he doing his finisher already? Never understood why the other hero is wearing a mask. Eh. Yeah. Amber almost won a beauty pageant for singing. Yes, she does have an amazing singing voice. It was actually Amber's first ever beauty pageant, too. And she made the other girls nervous because they realized that if Amber kept at it, she probably could have beat him. Yeah, actually, Miss Illinois came up to me and told me I could have gone all the way. Yep. Miss Illinois from 2003. Yep. Yeah, because your beauty pageant was in 2004, so that was... 04, that would have been the, the Miss song. Illinois 03. That was the song I sang. I sang the Deflator Mouse song. I know. Yep. And then Deflator the Ari Mouse. Aria, my Aria first Aria, Aria Concerto contest that I won was the uh, Voi Che Sapete with um, Mozart from The Marriage of Figaro. Well, considering most opera singers are in their 40s, yeah, Amber could do it. I still will do it. Yeah, she'll do it. I, I, I plan to. Especially now that I understand opera a little bit better. Mm. Everyone dies in the end. <laughs> Luke's, uh, Luke's taken me to a few operas and it's like I'm crying and everyone's like... We we went to an opera... I've taken you to two we operas. Took, we went to an opera in the, at the theater, music... Or at the movie theater and they show opera on the screen and it's live. Mm -hmm. Coming from the Met. And I really wanted to see the opera with people with horns on their head, but I didn't get to see that one because we missed it. But we saw a really cool opera um, called... Darn it. I don't even remember what it's called. It's something in Italian. I don't remember. But it was really interesting. It was about Russia. Yes. It had Rush. Yep, it had Russian music in it. Yep, exactly. And um, Spoiler, they all died. <laughs> But the Most lady, of them died. Well, the lady had a great singing scene at the end. I was trying to explain to Luke how opera works. How opera works is that when you die and someone stabs you or you stab yourself, you literally plunge the knife into yourself on stage. And as you're dying, you, you sing. You sing yeah. a solo as you're dying. You yep. sing this long solo. Literally, you have a knife in you and you sit there and sing for a long time and then you fall over and then it's the end. You, it's usually everyone dies in the end of opera. It's more opera is more dramatic than soap operas. Soap operas are like mini, almost like but opera. Every every opera is the same. Like, That's what makes it great, though. Like like the uh, let's see, the, the, a lot of them end with people dying. Yeah, hey, uh, like the clown. He's like, I stabbed myself now, and the knife goes deep. It's so painful, the knife. Oh, I die. It's like, ay vey. Like, every opera is like that, though. Well, if I end up doing it, you're going to have to go see me sometime. Oh, I'll go support you. I just, I, that's what it's always about. You know, and they sometimes they laugh and they cry and it's got... supposed to it's supposed to purge your emotions from your soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you're watching it, it's supposed to make you feel like strong emotions. <sighs> I know you can do it. I'm just I, I probably will always make fun of it a little bit because it's I'm just you know it it takes a lot of talent to be able to do opera like to be able to belt like that. Um, I haven't seen the ninja yet unless I missed him. Uh, also, I already got all the stars, so it doesn't matter if I don't get the stars. Linky, what are you doing? You know, he's the only cat that's ever used that scratching post, and he's actually damaged it. Look at it. That's from him. Yeah. Yeah. And Mr. Octopus is getting away. 
And then he's gonna jump over here, and then I'm gonna punch him in the face. Whoops, or not. Get back here! Oh no. Uh-oh. I might lose. Nope, we got him. And Falcon Punch! Yeah, they had a Seinfeld episode with this singing clown. That's a really... It's a famous clown opera. And then that one guy took a, make it made a takeoff on that clown. Mm-hmm. I think the guy... It's I the, the it's opera a sad, the clown. sad clown opera. I think the guy, the clown, the guy who who is a clown, his job is a clown. But his wife, like, cheats on him or something. So he murders her, I think. I mean... They... I can't remember, but I think that's... I think they made a Seinfeld episode where they made the clown super creepy. They like, did They did the same like thing. They the had, um... The... Cesar Romero, when he played the Joker, there was a famous episode where the Joker was dressed as the operatic clown and he was singing. But the thing about opera is, in every other media... You would basically be like, oh, sucks to be him. That guy's crazy. Mm. But in opera, you feel for every character. So the bad guy, the good guy, everyone gets to sing their emotions and show how they feel. So even the murderer will have a song where they explain how they feel. <laughs> There's an opera based on the Titanic. <laughs> We're all drowning. Oh, no. The water comes deeper. I can't swim. The difference between opera and musical theater is, well, there's many differences, but musical theater, you would actually speak some lines, but opera, yeah. you sing the entire Yeah, the thing. thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Theater, they would talk. Opera, they always sing. Yeah. But they, in opera, they sing in, um, foreign languages, mostly. They, they uh, they usually sing in, um, uh, Italian. Well, the reason why, I mean, they, there are, there are operas in many different languages. But Italian is most well known because of, of course, the king of opera was Mozart, and he did all his operas in Italian, even though he is actually Austrian. Was I mean, he's not around. It's crazy. Well, it's basically, Arnold. There's a reason for that. Because, Arnold's the opera man. Well, he he actually. Oh no! Got him. I believe Mozart. It was either Salzburg or Vienna where he was. I think it was in Salzburg. You I really was. turned this guy into um, Captain Kirk? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me! He looks oh. like a Red Ranger. I don't understand. No, I didn't turn him into Captain yeah, Kirk. Yeah! No. That was most heroic. Well, actually, no. I made everyone Captain Kirk. Oh, my gosh. No, we gotta get out of here! Yeah, I did make him Captain Kirk. What is going on? Ah! Who's that? Oh, no! Giant meteorites! We gotta escape this place! Yeah! Never fear! Red Ranger is here! Yeah! Right, guys! <laughs> make him the Red Ranger. Always make him the Red Ranger. Jason has a very commanding voice. It was always so weird to see an 18-year-old go, like, be able to belt, like, It's war for time! <laughs> you know, like, really get in the... The, the 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 pit of his stomach to get that morph out. Yeah! yeah. It's like the most intense ranger ever. If he was like in like the olden days, like where people were slashing each other with swords or something, like he would have been very intimidating on a battlefield. I'm you just see saying. this guy running around stabbing people with swords. Yeah! He would have been like a legendary hero <laughs> in olden times. Oops. I mean, his, his yell is so intimidating. Oh, uh, in order to get the star here, you can't miss one. Oh my god. Yeah, so if you're if you're playing this on your own, you have to get every... You can't miss one asteroid. At this sequence where you're, like, tossing the Red Ranger around. Like, every, see? Everything has to be um, taken down. Here comes the big one. Throw me at it again! We have to combine our powers! Oh, I thought I threw him again. I guess not. Bow! To infinity and beyond! Huh? You're playing Street Fighter... Ow! It's my tooth. I'm playing Street Fighter 1 Alpha and Super Hyper Street Fighter 2 for Capcom Arcade Stadium for Nintendo Switch, Luke, and Amber, and chat. 
Very cool, Daffy. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Daffy. I love the classic Street Fighter collection stuff. It's great. Oh, of course, BJ Starshine. Great to see you. Hi, BJ Starshine. How you doing? Mm, yeah, of course. Did I drink all my tea? Yeah, I've just... Uh, great to see you, Starshine. Hope you're having a great day. I was just seeing if there was any tea left out. Ah. Uh... No, no problem. All right, so we have to do the Phantom guy. Helps. Uh, we have to. We did Sword Fighter. We did. We have to do Baker. Boo. Who's this? <sighs> oh, that's the ice skating one. Ice skating's done. Ninja's done. That leaves. That leaves. Um. Uh, detective. And <laughs> what? No, Luke does have a very nice voice, but if he took voice lessons, I'm they, doing a parody. They would make him open his throat more because uh, he's, he's doing a character voice. Doing a character voice. But it does sound really good. You have, you have very good raw talent. I'm just messing around. I know, but you could. It's just, it's just a character. It's an opera character. Blah. Okay, so we're doing the Baker Luke thing. Luke has the natural crooner voice because uh, he's Irish. Yeah, hi, Co. Kermit the Frog here. The set clown. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I would love to watch that opera of the sad clown. Ugh! Further my nightmares. Dark Baker. I don't know what this is called. The Dark Baker. Uh, keep an eye out for the ninja. Uh, whoa, there's a Patestier sparkler. Evil Patestier. Whatever. Mm, I hope Kermit the Frog here. Oh, my kitty Erica says hello to everyone in cat language. Meow. Awesome PG star shine. Yeah, um, BJ Starshine has a new has a kitty that she's had for a little bit. Singing Kermit in the I show. think I think she, I think she rescued it or it, um she was feeding and it came by. I don't think I could do Cookie kind of Monster. Adopted it. Me like Cookie. No. Um, no, that doesn't sound like that sounds like Satchmo who wants a snack. I want a cookie. Erica the kitty says hi. <laughs> she's just purrs to the computer when she hears K Y G purrs to the computer. So Aww. Cute. Thank you, BJ Starshine. You're very sweet. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. Oh. I see cookies around. They taste really good. Even though people misunderstood. I don't eat really cookies. They're not edible. Oh, oh, oh. So Amber told me that the cookies... <laughs> the cookies that you see Cookie Monster actually eating... <laughs> On stage are not real cookies because they worry it's going to um, mess up the puppet. So it's yeah, like they can't use not any safe oil. for you to really be eating. <laughs> they can't use any oil. So they use like dried raisins with like, Ugh. with like, I don't know, like, like wood chips what? or something. I don't know. It's just like really like the stuff that he's eating. It's not, it's, it's not like real cookies. It's like sawdust with like raisins um, 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 mixed with like glue and some other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because they can't actually, because if, if he, they found out that if they actually added like oil. Oh, I can't do this one. Like oil would actually um, ultimately destroy the puppet because the oil kind of stains things. So he would look all, the puppet would look all greasy and stuff because most cookies are made with butter or oil, so that would I can. I don't. I don't know what to do for this. I can't. I can't do this one. I could try it, Loki. I've already ruined the cake. Well, I have to try the okay. cake over again. I have to do the cake again. It's good satchmo. Thank you. I like jazz. I was a jazz percussionist, so I would hear like all kinds. I studied all kinds of styles when, because I was trying to get a job in Chicago as a jazz drummer before my car accident. I was pretty decent. I mean, I was good enough to get an audition to um, work at a jazz club, but of course, the car accident changed everything. So. But I would, I would listen to um, Satchmo and uh, listen to like big band music and jazz, and you know, I would play. I used to practice like when Amber and I were dating. I would practice two hours a day. 
when I was um, trying out for that uh, open call thing to work for that jazz club in Chicago, on the outskirts of Chicago. And I got it, but, you know, once I was in a car accident, uh, I didn't get it. Because <laughs> I couldn't play anymore. Um, it was devastating. Alright, Amber, you do the cake thingy. I got the ninja. The rest is up to you. Because I, you know, when they get to the actual baking part, mm -hmm. you do the cake decorating and I'll do the baking. Uh. I don't remember how I did it. It is time to get the baking. It is time to get the baking on. Mm -hmm. I will layer your face with failure. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oops. This is an easy one. I can do this one. It's the next one I can't do. That looks like... I love how they add the fruit and stuff on that. That just looks so good. Alright, you're done. A, 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 A. Think Canadian. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. A. No, you didn't. I should have done that faster. Perfection. Perfecto. I know, but I should have done it faster. Bravissimo. The challenger is quick, but the baking, it is just begun. This is the one I can't do. Wow. Yes, you beat him to the punch. Good job, good job. Yay! Peaches, like Peachy's got it. Peachy's got it. The challenger finished their second tier. Well, I'll decorate faster than ever before. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's easy. You got this. Make the flower. Make the ice first. Now make the flower. You missed on the flower. What flower? You were supposed to put a flower around the baker's hat. I already did. No, you didn't. Put dots on his head. <laughs> now you get the no star. Uh, it don't, it won't, it won't, you get I no star. No, Watch. No, you're not. You're not gonna get. You're not. To no, you're not. You forgot the flower. <laughs> oh, boo, boo! Why give it to her? They gave it to me. Boo! It's good enough. Boo! It's good enough. I can't accept this defeat. It might look nice, but how does it taste? I'll teach you. I'm gonna have a bite of your. You're ruining it. Delicious. It is delectable! Incredible! Now I'm a girl! <laughs> it was so good it transformed me into a woman! <laughs> Woo! The sparkle is back to normal, Peach! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Alright, it's the baking this section. Way. It's the baking section! Give it to me, I gotta... I, this way! I can do the baking. Now, you, where do you think you're going? I'm going to bake you a cake so good it's going to destroy you. <laughs> Yay, this is PG Stars time. <laughs> LOL is a sense of gaming. <laughs> yeah, like, they don't, like, so yeah, Cookie Monster doesn't get to eat chocolate chips. No. Because chocolate chips have oil in them. Yeah. And it would stay in the puppet. Yep, so if so you thought Cookie Monster actually eats cookies, he doesn't. So basically, the cookies that he eats are disgusting. <laughs> mm, yep. I hate to be the puppet guy, like, underneath, like, when all that weird ingredients is falling on him. Maybe that's why he always screams, like, Oh, no, 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 he has, like, all these, like, nasty ingredients, like, pelting him, like, Ah! <laughs> what's in this? He would be, like, freaking out. I wouldn't be able to do it. And I'd be freaking out. I think no, some of the stuff is edible. It just wouldn't taste good. Tag team. We made cookies first. We made cookies first. We made cookies first. Yeah. Making cookies, make, make, make cookies first. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! Oh! I failed. Wow! Thanks, Amber. Where are you going, girly? Oops. Well, I have no idea where she's going. Aye! 
Da 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 da. Ah! Sorry. Quickly now, we are almost done. Still failed. I tried and I failed still. Because you have to get all three of those to light up. If you don't get all three to light up, light up, you fail. <laughs> no! Sacre bleu! I'm beaten again! I will eat your cookies so they look so delicious, but it will kill me on impact! Alright, thank you for the highlighted message. Princess Lucas is happy Easter, K Wayne. Oh, Happy Easter, Princess Luca. Thank you. It's a special cookie. It is so good. It is to die for. Nom 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 nom. It is heavenly. Death deserves to die for. Oh, we got the ninja, but we missed the star again. Failure. Failure, 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 failure. Mop. In case you missed my message, see the super chat. Okies. Luke and Amber, both you guys are breathtaking. Thank you. Oh, I think that's what PJ said. PJ. 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 Thank you, PJ. All right, so we got all the ninja here. I am ninja. She is ninja. Thank we you, PJ. You're breathtaking. Too. Thank you so much. Hmm. Nope. No, not yet, Queenie. All right, let's go do the dark prison. Dark prison. It's a dark and prison and prison and prison. It's a dark, dark prison. Prison of darkness. Darkness prison. I don't like this level. This is the longest of the dark levels. That and the detective level is the longest. They make the cookies seem so real, says Brandon. Yeah. Yep. Like, it does have some natural ingredients in it, but it doesn't have any oil and there's no chocolate. But chocolate is meant to look like I think they're raisins, like, painted with something. <laughs> like, you wouldn't want to eat it. <laughs> oh, poor, uh, poor cookie monster. Whoopsies. I can't really remember any of Cookie Monster songs. Cookie Monster would sing? I just Be remember like him eating. Be like the cookie. The cookie tastes so good. No, wait, he has a song. He does not have a song. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. The Cookie Monster I grew up with did not sing. Look, he does sing. He just went, oh, no, 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 Keep your eye out for the ninja. We need to find the ninja because if we don't, then we are losers. Songs of Cookie Monster and Friends. Cookie Monster and Friends. He's not a solo artist. C is for cookie. C is for cookie. That's what it is to me. Like something like that. I don't know. But he doesn't really sing. It's impossible. Oh. You're seriously listening to Cookie Monster. Ah, see, I remembered it. C is for Cookie. That's good enough for me. Hmm. 
Z, C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. That's all he says. So it's not really a song. It's a... He's talking about cookies. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. It's not really a song. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Rhymes with tea. Or birds with tea. That rhymes with it. I mean, if you want it to rhyme with... Ah! I died. Where is this ninja? Where art thou, ninja? The ninja is not to the right on the bottom. There is no ninja here. The ninja is not around. We must search diligently for ninja. So now we'll go top right and see if the ninja is there. Boom. Chink. It should be a song. No. Yes, it is a Cookie Monster song, says so Zoe. It's not really a song. C is for Cookie is a song that the monster does sing, says Bruce. It's not really a song, though. He sings, says Sons of Gaming. Exactly. Yes, he does. He if does. you just say the same phrase over and over again, it doesn't it count as a song. It is a song. song. No. It's a song. No. It has an actual chord progression. Da, 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 Second phrase. Da, na, 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 Third phrase. Na, 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 And then you have the cadence at the end, which is the ending. Na, 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 na. That's a well-written song. I want to know if it's a well-written song. It's a complete song. It's a complete tune. It's better than Hans Zimmer's music. Amber. Mean. I'm not mean, I'm just saying it back. Wow. Da -da 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 -da. Eat the cookie. Cookie, 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 cookie. I like to eat the cookies all the day long. Cookie, cookie, co cookie, 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 cookie. Ah. Thief Peach, says Julia. Dashing Thief Peach. Cookie, 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 rhymes with C. K is for cookie. That's good enough for me. K. What? No. Co cookie doesn't start with K. What is it? Geofont and later gator? And K is not for cookie. K would be for kite. Or kill. <laughs> mm. Wait. What? K is for ketchup. That's yeah, good ketchup enough there. for yeah, me. There you go. K is for ketchup. That's good enough for me. K is for ketchup. That's good enough for me. Ketchup, ketchup, ketchup starts with K. <laughs> oh. mm, yeah. The dashing peach is searching for the ninja and still not finding him anywhere. This is very irritating. And Dashing Peach laughs. She's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. There's no ninja here. I see no ninja. Uh oh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Can I go in that door? Perhaps. Ah! Hmm. Ah! Well, so far no ninja, and I'm almost dead. Perplexing. If I don't find a heart soon, I'm in big, big trouble. So the Phantom and the Detective are the last of the dark levels we need to do. Well, that happened. Still no ninja. So he has to be in the top left. Otherwise, I don't see him at all. Unless he's later in the level, but later in the level is the... Um, Basically, don't stop running level. Uh -huh. yeah. ah! 
I almost died. But not quite. But almost. Um. I gotta be careful. This is my stop. Oh no! Oh, saved by the last minute from whatever this thing is. Intriguing. Is there anything else up here? Nope, only death. Ah! Hmm? Oh no, wait! Aye! Oh, I'll look it up, I'm sorry. I mean, I've thoroughly explored these areas. I've not seen the ninja yet. <laughs> Later Gator says W is for water. That's good enough for me. W is for water. That's good enough for me. W is for water. That's good enough for me. Water, water, water sounds for W. I mean, that's a good way to learn the alphabet, I suppose. That'll be how we... Yeah, actually, you could teach your kids every single letter. Please, no. Um, I don't know. When you have your kids singing it over and over again. Um. No. See, that would be bad. Hi, Luke and Amber. Hello. Poke, poke, poke. X is for xylophone, that's good enough for me. No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, Ember. Oh my gosh. After you rescue him. Alright, I rescued him, so where's the ninja? You rescued Ma Mask. Awesome, Miss Diana. Ma 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 mask. It's after you, re it's after you rescue him, so sounds like game. I'm looking, I don't see it. Ma 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 mask. Ma 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 mask. Mask. It's on the laser part of some good mask. I don't know. I was in a good mood, and then I don't know why. Like text from somebody like me feeling sad. I don't like being bothered on holidays because like I already have done my part of being. I always send people stuff and everything. I don't. I, I think if people are gonna send something on a holiday, they should send a card. They, I mean, I understand some people text, but it's like, I just don't like the texting. You know? Bum bum, there's a ninja. We found a ninja. I think I would just be a happier person if I didn't have a cell phone. I think it's caused me more problems than. Uh, I think I just don't like being, being at people's beck and call. April Fool's Day! Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, Aha! our niece's birthday is April 2nd. Oof. So, I have to get her a card and then I have to send <laughs> somebody else a card that I sent it to the wrong place last time. Oops. Oh, Why would he come back at the start? I don't know. He just wants to taunt you. He's like, you fell, novice. <laughs> Ouch! Yes. Do, 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 do. No! Oh, I lost my last heart. No! Oh, no. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. Ha ha! Yes! Bow, 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 bow. Na ha! Alright, Luki, I will try to figure it out. Out of the dark portal we go. It's time for the detective. The detective is the last level. More or less. Thank you. Thank 
Thank you. Peachy's coming. Good job, Peachy. Nine, 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 nine. Nine. Hello. What, pray tell, are you doing? Get your warm hands off of me. Okay, why are you like this? My hands are always hot. I don't like them being hot. They're painful. You didn't say all this stuff about me when you first met me. Yes, I know. It's called saving you from embarrassment. That's right. Oh no! I will need to stick an ice cube down your trousers. That's where you'll cool off. Alright, um, let's go decorate the lobby. It's time for Sherlock Peach, exactly. What, what? Quite right. Sherlock Peach, decorate the lobby. Do yeah, I... I think you're just abnormally cold. Ha! Huh. Your hands are like ice. No, your hands are normal. Normal today. It's time to decorate the lobby. What say you? Boop. Wait, these are the dresses. Well, hopefully... Oh, we need to buy stuff because we don't, we have all this money. Elementary, my dear Luke. That's correct. We need to buy the dresses because we have too much money. Oh, there you go. Now it won't be nine 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 nine. Aha! No. And this, please. Yes. Yes. Quite right. No. Oh, that's adorable. Look at the little hearts. But no. I've owned everything now. Stella gets her groove back. Buy this for Stella. Buy, nope. Buy this for Stella. No. Oh wow, look at this. There's a TikTok trend. People shaming adults for having hobbies. What? There's TikTokers saying, telling people that it's dorky to have hobbies such as ice skating, watching movies, playing video games, doing art. What? They're saying you shouldn't do anything fun anymore when you're an adult. What? Or anything you enjoy. Are these TikTokers just so, trying to get rage bait at this point? I don't know. Also, like... Like, I mean, there's... I mean, that's kind of weird with the ice skating one, since that one actually could actually get you out in the open air and... Any of the things that they... Any of the things they mentioned can be uh, a job. Yeah. It's kind of weird, like, why they would say that. This is, uh, like I said, it's just like the 1970s protest generation. It's just uh, stupid people. There it is. Somebody making fun of people. Did you learn to ice skate when you were 13? You're an idiot if you still ice skate. And it's illegal an now? How is it illegal now? They're saying it's illegal because you shouldn't do it as an adult. Because you shouldn't do anything fun as a hobby for an adult. Because it's not, you're not at work. The thing is, like, playing... Like, Playing, the reason why they're saying playing video games is cringe is because they can't control gamers. That's but, why they're doing that. But you actually should do something to relax after work, otherwise you're going to go postal. Go postal. <laughs> I mean... I don't think anybody knows what that term means anymore. <laughs> going postal! That's why I said... <laughs> that's, why, that's why I said it. <laughs> nobody knows what it is. Mm, yeah. <laughs> going postal was a term to refer when a post office uh, person would go crazy and shoot everyone up. They were going postal. That's why you should have <laughs> hobbies. That's why, especially if you work at the post office. My dear sir, why did you go and destroy your place of work? They took away my hobbies, man. <laughs> How dreadful. Oh. Yeah. I think it's because usually people that would do that kind of thing were usually post office workers. It's illegal to eat ice cream, go to the zoo. What? There, now we have at least the third floor is 100%. Look at that. We've got all the decorations on the third floor. Hooray. Oh, I already had, I had the group of friends that were always protesty when I was in school. 
course, I was kind of the head of that. I was Topanga myself. I protested stuff as well. Uh, TikTok's going to get banned anyway. You watch. After so-and-so gets reelected, they're going to ban TikTok. Because so, they won't need it anymore. So-and-so, you mean the person you voted for, The Rock? He's going to be president? I Whoa. did vote for The Rock. Everyone should do a, like, write-in name, and then that person will have to be president. We should... I don't know. I don't know who... I, I nominate vote. Ben Affleck. I don't know who I'm voting for. I don't want to vote for a Hollywood actor. Okay. I'm going to vote for somebody else. Hmm. I'm going to find an obscure person that nobody knows who it is. Like. What about the hot dog man? He seems like a nice guy. <laughs> the local hot dog man is now president I'm, of the United I'm States. Gonna nominate, da, 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 da. I'm gonna nominate my local post office. We will market. relish in this opportunity to unite the country, like harmony between ketchup and mustard. Yep. All right, detective time. Detective Peach. Oh my gosh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba the Detective Sparklers! We should... Oh. I missed it. Vote for me, and spinach pops for everyone. Yes. No one will be without spinach pops. Vote for Kronk. Vote for Kronk, it's a vote for spinach pops! Um, let's see... Dark Detective. It sounds like an anime. The Doc Detective. Luke is sus! Luke is Moriarty! La 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 la. La 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 la. la Alright, let me see if I can find la, these. Did you hear? Detective Sparkler has joined our exhibit. You're sus! Egad! How did you know it was me? Elementary, my dear sir. Because I'm Peach. And Peachy's got it! Aha! Yeah, Kronk for office, that's right. Detective Sparkler, nope, he'd never seen him. Aha! <laughs> Aww, I made them sad. Every single one of these, you know, just so you know, is a bad guy. Sus! They're all sus around us. I think it's the cheesecake sugar. I had three pieces of cheesecake. Oh dear. Open the treasure chest. We've actually found all the ninjas except for one. So I think we're doing pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. We just have to find the ninja. I don't know where he is. And just in case anything happens to me, I'm leaving a note behind as a guide. The central door will open once the exhibits with the shared element are examined in a proper order. You must already have shown impressive skill to get this far. I'm positive you can resolve this. Good luck. Oh no! The detective left a message! Whatever will we do? <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Okay. Luke, have you heard about this news story? No, I don't watch the news. The, this guy has been going around New York City punching random people in the face. Is he in jail? I don't know. He's... They did find him, and they don't know of all this, but, like, tons of people are just, like... He's been just randomly going up to people and punching them in the face. And how is he not arrested? I don't know if he got arrested or not. I think they... I mean, they have him... Uh, yeah, apparently he did end up getting arrested. Okay, probably. he finally got arrested. How many people did he have to punch to get arrested? I don't know, but he was only punching females... And he... Was he... When he punched females, was he screaming, Equality! It might have been something about that. Oh my gosh! I don't know. He was just punching them without saying anything. Oh. See, I would have had a catchphrase. <laughs> equal rights! I'm an equal opportunity <laughs> puncher. I mean, yeah. Oh. I punch men and women! No. 
Yeah. It's so weird. You have to have a catchphrase. I mean, you have to have something. If you if you do something stupid, you have to have people remember you by it. <sighs> I'm just saying. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I'm oh, just the world is saying. It's too weird now. We're, we're definitely in a weird version of reality. It's the end of the world as we know it. Civilizations I crumbling around not. all around us. Uh, I'm sure it can get worse. Did you know in peacetime societies can go crazy and destroy themselves from within? What are you talking about? It's been shown throughout history. Not to freak anybody out, but in peace times, what happens is a country basically destroys itself from within you're instead of fighting foreign enemies. You're freaking me out. It's true, though. When they have no one else to fight, they fight each other. Oh, wow. What? It's happened a lot. So you fight yourself, basically. Because you're fighting your own people. In a way, yes. Ugh. Oh, so the statue needs to face the opposite way. My bad. No, this way. This way, statue. Face this way. Face this way. Don't delay. You know what people should do instead of fight themselves? They should sing songs together. Kumbaya. That would be great. Uh, we could have called himself the New York City Puncher. He could have just gone up to people and said, PUNCH! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Punch! If he made a catchphrase, uh, it would have been better than if he just. Than if he just. Then he, then he gets sentenced, he goes up to the judge, he goes, PUNCH! You're like, what? I'm going to jail anyway. You'll remember this day that you caught the puncher. Why are you in prison? I punch people. PUNCH! Yeah. Do like wouldn't you like take their purse? But no, you're just punching people. Oh, go! <laughs> you're, you're just punching people, leaving. You think you'd like rob them or something? You have to put on a costume like Captain Falcon and go around <laughs> punching people. It's just something you do. Uh, that was strange. Do 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 do. I would have so much fun as a villain. You should be a villain. I think you'd be good at I it. I mean, society is driving people to do it. Society is to blame. We live in a society. Oh my gosh. We live in a society where being an upstanding citizen is considered criminal. Do you want to know how I got these scars? I defended myself from a burglar in my own home. Uh. Da, 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 da. I don't know what we're doing. I already got the ninja. You weren't paying attention. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh. Aha! We have found the clue. We just figured out museum clues, cause we're really smart. Elementary! Mm -hmm. Alright, Luki. You want me to try to find... What are we trying to do here? I already, already did it. So now, we have to go past... Oh wait, should we say this Luke character is sus? This person is sus. Hey, what's the big idea? Work really hard! Do, 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 Aha! No! I've been found out! He got! Yeah, everyone in this museum is bad, so I mean. They're all evil. Sorry, can't help it, I'm evil. I'm gonna throw a rock at your face! I'm sorry, what? Yes, and because you trust me, you'll stand there as it whiz past you. Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. Hit him with a rock. Excellent! You are trustworthy, my friend! You hit me with a rock! I hit some of the rock three more times. Your name is Mr. Trust. That's your middle name. I'm going to draw a line on the s uh, in the sand, and you are going to challenge me by crossing over it. Okay? Crosses over and get hit by stick. Ow, you hit me! Sorry, I can't help it. I'm evil. Challenge me! Walk over my line! Whack! Ow! What'd you do that for? Sorry, mate. I'm evil. 
<laughs> Detective, it is I, Moriarty! No. It is. The junior detective? I'm seeking the detective sparkler just as you are. Oh no! They decided that you are trapped in this very room. Oh. Which one is the detective? It's the one whose nose isn't glowing. Oh. Shall we meet again? I really wanted him to show that he was Moriarty. That would have been funny. It would have been like, this whole time, Detective Junior was really Moriarty. Oh. Ta-da! But Nintendo didn't throw me a bone. They're like, no. I need not say anything. Thank you very much. Proven to be quite an astute detective. There wasn't a doubt in my mind you'd puzzle out the solution to that problem. Quite right. Now then, let us make our escape. Okay. Which way are we escaping? This way, Peach? Peachy's got it. That's correct. You need to go this way. Oh, we already know the answer. We know the answer to this conundrum. I've got the answer. Ah, the dead end. We'll have to find another way out, my dear girl. Let's oh. look around and see if we are any useful clues to be found. Okay. Hmm. Clues, 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 clues. Nope, we're leaving. We already know the ba -ba -ba. And now he's going to say, Egad! We should have returned to the room we came from, but how strange. Hmm. It appears we've been pulled into some sort of mysterious space. There must be clues around here somewhere, though. I'm going to take a picture of this. To start, I've taken a photo of the scene. It may come in handy as a reference. Very well. Mm, now we go back the way we came! Aha! Look, if you become a villain, can I join this D guard? We'll see. To rooms that appear quite similar and a single door that connects them. We seem to be trapped between the rooms. Or is it, would it seem, there must be some clue as how to we can escape? I'll hang the photo, just look at on the wall. Just hope, let us hope there is some of use. Yes? A magnifying glass! The magnifying glass. Magnifying. Yes, it's the a flying magnifying. Oh, it's really small or something. Oh, let's do this. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I share the belief of common sense. So, in the age of 2020, I'm considered a villain, according to the internet, because I have common sense. Yeah. Common, th common sense thinking is a problem because you cannot be controlled. And if you cannot be controlled, you're opposition. It's like, in 2024, it's like, uh, make sure to walk, learn, or look both ways if we're crossing the street. It's like, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Walks across the street, kids, play a car. Well, that would be call karma or evolution cleaning up the gene pool from stupid people. Quite right. Oh, Detective, hurry! This way! It's Moriarty, it is! No, I'm not. I'm sweet little Luke. No, you're not. Well, if it isn't Junior, and even you've got here before us, how strange. I'm Junior Detective Luke. Hmm. Well, the exit is this way. We must hurry. What are you guys doing? Actually, let us take a moment before we do. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, old bean. But what? Okay, sure. As you know, the sofa in our office doesn't have a single cushion on it. If you were going to purchase a cushion for it, what color would you pick? What a weird question to ask at a time like this, Detective. But all um, purple would be nice. Excellent. Now, next, if you're meeting someone at 9 o'clock, when would you arrive? Well, that's easy, seriously. Such an old question, but... This one is obvious. If you're meeting someone at nine o'clock, then you must get there at nine o'clock. I see, I see. All right. One final question. What do you think about this grape character? Uh, oh, you mean my 
damn grape? I mean, oh, I don't know, huh? Enough with these silly questions, Professor! We need to hurry to the exit, no! Very well. We have all the answers we need. Oh, yeah! I, uh, sure. The detective's sparklers acting strange today. You're acting strange, punk! Yeah! PG's got it! The real door. Actually, I'm wondering where that door would have led us. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know. I knew it. Both the exit and the fake junior detective were deceptions. The true exit stands before us now. Come, let us make our escape. Okay! Do, 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 do. Are we going to steal this guy in this virtual world for eternity? He's stuck in there for all eternity. He will not get out. Who's the villain now? It would be Peach. Peach <laughs> stuck him in a time vortex. Thank Peach. So she put him in the null void. There we go. The last ninja. That was the last ninja. We did it. Back to the shadow realm with you. Jimbo. Jimbo. Slow clap. Slow clap. Well done, Obin. Well done. Okay. Yes. Punch. No, I don't want to hold your hand. It's an oven. You're going to make me sick. Now we collected all the ninjas. What happens? Nothing? Nothing happened. Impossible. Go speak to the ninja leader, Sizzle. Oh. You captured every ninja. I did. It took three streams, but we got every single ninja. Every single one. Yep. My favorite character is Detective Junior Luke Detective. He's Moriarty. No, he's a good person. He's Moriarty. I don't believe you. It doesn't matter what you believe. Huh. He's Moriarty. Talk to the ninja guy. Okay. Da, 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 da. Um. What did we get for all that? Well done, finding all of the apprentices. I will present you with reward. You found a weird... Weird thing. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. Nothing else. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, actually you get to see Mega Peach. There she is. Super Radiant Peach! Oh, yeah! Do they have Radiant Peach transformation? Radiant Peach. Yes, they do. Let's go. Transform. Uh, I love her transformation sequence. Transform. It's actually kind of cool. Transform. Like Shantae says. Transform. So there were 70 ninjas that we found over three streams. No, that can't be right. I don't know. Maybe. No. There were three ninjas per regular levels. There are five, there are, uh, three times, I don't remember how many levels there are. She looks like the blue fairy from Pinocchio. Wait, is there really 70 ninjas? She looks like the fairy that gives Pinocchio life. Later Gator says there's 30 ninjas. She's the blue fairy. Great Peach comeback. All right, well, let's go buy that dress and call it. And then, guys, I got your Power Ranger stream, and then after that, I've got your um, Mega Man stream for Jotaro. Do 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 Ugh, oh, oh, gross. They should have put, like, a ninja The only thing I can... Like, I still don't understand what the missing album stuff is, though. That's a terrible dress. That's a horrible... That's a hideous dress, yeah. And his face is what? What is this? Maybe you have to get... I think those are... I think that's all six bosses. Yeah. Yeah. All that for a repulsive dress. High five! Yeah! High five for hideous dress! Let's go! Alright, so if you guys get um, 
a thousand views on this video, we'll do um, boss rush mode. If not, the series is over, and there will be a special bonus stream in the middle of April where we'll be back to choose the winner. Okay. But uh, that's um, yeah. Boss challenge. Never, you never get two thousand views. Ah, <sighs> Amber, you're making me tired. Sorry. Well, don't talk like a zombie. Okay. All right, guys. So Power Rangers will start after you guys get forty likes. Um, Power Rangers was not on the newsletter, so it's up to you to get the things. There's also a YouTube short you guys can watch that went up earlier today. Um, there can be miracles. Stop, honey. If you like and subscribe. Okay, so Ace Attorney needs 100 views in order to have another episode tomorrow. I'm currently at 11 o'clock at night right now. Ace Attorney episode 49 is at 870 views. So needs 100 views in order to get 1,000. Um, Princess Peach needs a thousand views in order to get something, maybe like a bonus boss, boss rush mode. If not, Spider-Man most likely will be tomorrow, I think. Whoa, people I, want the boss challenge. People want the boss challenge? I wouldn't do it as... I mean, how are you going to get all the... You can't possibly do the bosses without getting hit. I will try. Okay, Luke will attempt the boss. I will attempt it. I will attempt no it. No promises. So, Spider-Man did get a thousand views, so Spider-Man will be tomorrow. Um, uh, Final Fantasy is tomorrow. And Ace Attorney might be tomorrow. Might be tomorrow. Okay. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Power Rangers will be starting up in a little bit. I need to see where we are with Power Rangers. Like, I have I have to... It's also, remember when I boot up the game, it's going to take like 10-15 minutes for the game even to do anything. Takes a long time to boot up the game. Oh, uh, wait. That's weird. What is it? Well, we currently have 29 likes for Power Rangers, so they just need to get a little more. Okay. Ookies. Ouch! I don't know. Nobody knows what you're saying ouch for. That's a watery burp. It hurts. Okay. I know, right? All right, guys, you'll be redirected to Power Rangers, so try to get to 40 likes, um, and uh, good luck trying to get 1,000 views for this. If not, we have some cool stuff tomorrow uh, for you guys. So Ace Attorney is the only thing that really needs a lot of help. A tremendous amount of help. All right. Um, thanks for watching, people. Thanks for the... Did we get super chats on the stream? Yes. Thank you for the super chats. And to our newest member, see you guys on Power Rangers in a little bit.